Hi, welcome to another Adalo tutorial. It's going to be simple and easy today. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and I'll definitely do well to, I mean, so that you get notified whenever I launch a new, a new tutorial. So today is going to be fairly straightforward. Um, I know that lots of you are expecting me to do um, some videos on API. I'm still working on that. So in no time, you're going to be seeing a lot of videos. So, but this time I want to show you how to do a disappearing search. You know, a lot of time you want to search for stuff. So you've seen um, some mobile application where you get to search for stuff. As you're searching for it, you, you're searching for it, but it, you, you can't find a feed there until you populate the, the data. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is some application I created before. And I want to just show you something in here. So if I click on the search, you can see it says no result because there's nothing in there. But once I begin to type, it populates here. Yeah? Once I begin to type, if that's, if that's available, it does populate. But if it's not available, it doesn't populate. So you can see it's populating right here and I can click on it and move to a different screen entirely. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is the way you do that. You just, you know, bring a screen in there. Bring a screen, put it like so. Just call it, I just call it search two since I've done it before. I'm gonna bring a screen in there and just call it search two. So I'm just gonna call it a search. I'm gonna put it side by side so you can see the way I did it. So, um, so this is search and I'm taking it this way. So uh, what you can see here right there is that, what you can see right here is that I have a form on top of it. So I'm gonna say form. I have a form on top of it, but it's not a full form with a button. It's just an input feed, that's what it is. It's just an input feed, so I'll just take it and put it on top like so. This is what the users will be searching. So you can set out the, the curve of everything you want to. And then I'm gonna put a list. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put a list right here like so. So I'm gonna put a list right here. Then I'll call it a list of what? So I'm just gonna say a list of products like so. So this is a list of products and as usual, Adalo will help me with the, with the product title. Uh, I will have to fix the subtitle myself. I'll have to fix the subtitle myself, you know, and a couple of other stuff and the image too. So what what I can what I'm gonna do is that I want this to show based on what's here. So I'm gonna say sort. I'm gonna click on the list right here and say feature, feature all products, add custom feature. I'm gonna feature the custom product, the title. So I'm gonna feature the title, contains what's typed in the input feed what's typed in the input feed, this, in the input feed that was seen above. So whenever I'm typing right here, this is going to feature automatically. But we then want to add a conditional visibility to this one, to the list feed, so that it doesn't show on, unless there's something here. So we're gonna say, we're going to scroll up, click here and say change, change visibility, sometimes visible. It's going to be visible if, if, other component input three, yeah, it's not, it's not empty. So you just leave it like this. That's it, it's not empty. So if it's not empty, that's the only way this will show. But if it's empty, it's not going to show. And then you can then go ahead and bring a test and just put a test right here and say no result. Why? Because they've not entered the search term yet. So whenever they enter a search term, then they can find a resort. No search. So you then make this a condition of visibility too. You then say condition of visibility. So now you're doing the reverse. Sometimes visible if, yeah, it's going to be visible if other component, yeah, is empty if the other component is equal to empty. That's it. 
So this won't show if this shows. This will show the list will not show if you have the null result. If there's nothing in here, if there's uh, uh if there's if there's nothing in there, it's not gonna show. So uh, that's the same configuration we have right here. Uh, let's go see change condition of visibility. Sometimes visible. So I'm just gonna. It's 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 visible if input field is equal to empty. So just go ahead and preview all over again for you to see what I'm talking about now. It's gonna be something. It's gonna be you know really really similar. So now this is not empty. So if we take it away, it's showing no result. Then if we start typing, if we type. That's gone, and now we see this. So it's just a combination of conditional visibility and a, com a combination of the um, the uh, the form feed, you know, showing what's going to be visible and what's not going to be visible. So that's it. Um, that's the way it works. I'll see you in the next tutorial. This is pretty short. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Don't worry. Very soon, we're going to be going so, so deep into API, and you're going to learn everything about, you know, creating custom actions, APIs with Adano. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're looking for, if you need help with your dialogue project, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at Paul Okudwa, Paul underscore Okudwa, and definitely we'll work together. Thank you very much. Have a lovely, lovely day ahead.